Hey guys, so this is going to be a 99 cent only store haul. I went to 99 cent only Walmart and Dollar Tree yesterday. I'm going to be going to my local Dollar Tree in just a little bit as well. And I did film this video yesterday, but there was a bag of items that got left out of the video, so I'm just refilming it. If I don't specify price, that means the item was a dollar. However, the first item that I'm going to show you guys is a rather large item. It was $7.99, and this is the first time... Oh, no. I just tried to film this video, you guys, and I was showing a blanket, and I dropped the blanket, and it landed on top of my coffee, and the coffee spilled everywhere. But anyways, this is the first time that I've ever found or purchased an item for $7.99 at $0.99 cent only, and I think this was well worth it because, as you can see, it's really large. It's got the pretty metallic gold hearts around the outside of the picture, and then it's got the metallic gold lettering in the middle. The only thing that I'm not loving about this picture is the kind of charcoal gray and black background. It kind of reminds me of like a tie-dye look, so what I might do, which I'm not positive because if I do choose to do this, I take the chance of ruining the picture. I wanted to really carefully outline the lettering and fill this in with Mod Podge and then do a really fine glitter. I'm not exactly sure what color, but I thought that might kind of take away from that tie-dye looking print that's in the background. So once again, not sure, but I might do it. This was the last of these pictures at this particular 99 cent only. If you're a local, this was the 99 cent only on McHenry. You can call and see if they're going to be getting more in stock if you're interested. The next item that I got was this Pet Ink Coral Fleece Pet Blanket. This was $1.99. And I was just talking about how Cupcake needed a new really nice soft warm blanket for winter because she does sleep in her kennel. And I found this. They did have some of the pet blankets that are a lot thinner for only a dollar or the pet beds. And if you look, this opens up to be a pretty big blanket. It's super cute, really soft. The only thing is it stinks so bad. Like, I don't know. It just stinks. The 99 cent only on McHenry. Well, actually all of them I think stink and it kind of has that smell. So I need to wash it. This is, does it say the size on here? I don't see the size, but like I said, it looks like it's pretty large. I, of course, had to pick up a bag of the 1,000 double-tipped cotton swabs. This is the value pack, and these are only a dollar, and I think these compare like almost spot on to the actual Q-tip brand. They're not super flimsy like the boxes you'll get at... Dollar Tree. So for a buck, you're not going to find a better deal, at least not in this area, and these last quite a while. I picked up this really nice microfiber throw. This was $1.99. This is the item I dropped on top of my coffee cup. Thankfully, the coffee didn't get on the actual blanket. So it's the Ultra Soft Microfiber Throw. It's 50 inches by 60 inches, so that's a pretty decent size microfiber throw. It's 100% polyester. I'm going to be gifting this as a Christmas gift and I thought what a great deal you know for a Christmas gift and I will pair this with maybe like a Starbucks um, coffee set from Walmart you know the ones where it's like the mug and it has stuff inside of it for $8.99 or $9.99 or maybe with a box of chocolate something like that and that's a super inexpensive gift for someone. I looked through the bin to see if I couldn't find any more of these, you know, in the exact same ones, even if it was a different color, and they were all different ones and different brands, and I didn't like the quality of the other ones that they had. I got this, which I thought was a great deal. This was $2.99, and this is the 10 shelf hanging shoe organizer, and when I first purchased it, I thought it was just one that you put your clothes in. I just grabbed it, threw it in the cart, and when I got home and got to looking at it, I was like, wow, it's a shoe organizer, so I totally wish I would have picked up two of these because that would have helped me put a big dent in organizing my shoes. This, of course, will help, but two would have been awesome. So it's really heavy, you guys. It seems like a really nice, heavy-duty material, and then on the sides, it's got this, like, mesh net, and it says at the bottom that it's tear and puncture resistant. 
consistent. It's 5.5 inches in width and 11 inches in height, I'm guessing. So I got that, which was a great deal. I picked up this Hello Kitty phone case. This is for the iPhone 5. I don't personally have an iPhone, and I can't think of anyone off the top of my head that has the iPhone 5. My son has iPhone like 6s and he wouldn't have hello kitty anyways i'm just saying but i could not pass on this for a dollar you guys it's got the cute leopard print in the background and then it's got hello kitty so i will be gifting that to someone i found these really cute hello kitty tins and they have 100 piece puzzle sets inside of them for $2.99 and I had actually got the little like 10 purses last year from 99 cent only they were either a dollar or a dollar 99 I got like three or four different um like styles of them but the handles were like be like beads or something or pearls obviously fake pearls and they were a little bit smaller and they didn't come with puzzles in them so I'm actually going to keep the little um, tin boxes for myself, and then I will take the puzzles out and gift them to someone in my family. So I got this one, and then I also got this one. I thought they were both just super adorable. These were the only two that I could find. I looked through all of them, and I just thought they were adorable. I will use those for, like, makeup, or maybe I'll keep one and gift one. I don't know. Then I also got these super cute Hello Kitty bobbleheads. They're actually called Bobble Pops because they have candy inside. And if you can see, the little base says Hello Kitty and the little head bobbles around, which I thought was adorable. So this is going to go in my beauty room. This was $1.99. And then I also got this little bobblehead, and it's Hello Kitty, but she's got her blue dress with her yellow shirt and her red bow. So I definitely could not pass on those. So I found quite a few different Hello Kitty items. There were Hello Kitty stickers, but I already had those. There was like a Hello Kitty sticker, or no, it wasn't sticker, it was, was it like reusable stickers, or I don't know, like a little scene thing. There's a couple different Hello Kitty things, but those were the items I liked the most. Then I picked up this Mainstays fragrance set, and Mainstays is the Walmart brand, so you can find these sets at Walmart. This was $2.99, which is awesome because these little sets retail for, I believe, like $8.99 or $9.99 at Walmart. So you get two of the pumpkin spice candles, and then you get one of the pumpkin spice reed diffusers. It says one 2.5 ounce diffuser and six reeds, total nine pieces. And then two four ounce candles. So I know pumpkin spice is, you know, typically for fall, but I love pumpkin spice year round and for Christmas. I thought that was a cute and expensive gift. I picked up this cute beanie that says Bay. I thought that was cute. I actually got this for myself. This was only one dollar. It's in the studio brand and it says Cold Weather Collection. They had these beanies that had different words on them. They had ones with little emojis right here. They also had like the kind of microfiber feeling ones where they had little flaps on each side with like the um, drawstring type things hanging down. Just really cute ones with reindeers, gloves, scarves. So if you're looking for scarves, cute gloves, beanies, definitely check out 99 cent only. I got these super adorable packs of the Fruit of the Loom fashion cotton boy shorts so you get four in each pack for $1.99 and this isn't the first time that I've purchased underwear at 99 cent only I've gotten a couple different fruit of the loom packs and $1.99 you guys is a great deal so I got both of these packs and they had lots of different um, variety packs they did have bikini ones but they were like much smaller they were only like that tall and I think they only had two bikinis in each one and I didn't like the colors. I do prefer bikinis over boy shorts, but I thought for $1.99, why not? So this one, as you can see, has the purple leopard, um, purple stripes, green leopard, green stripes, light green, light purple, dark purple, and black. I love the black one, so I got both of those for myself. I picked up this little Shopkins, and it's kind of like the mystery one. I was really hoping to get the little lipstick one. 
Um, and this was $1.99, which I was kind of thinking these should be a dollar. These should not be $1.99. I guess if you buy these in the store, that is a good value. But it just seems like $0.99 cent only is just making everything a dollar ninety nine two ninety nine. So I got this one. It's not my favorite, so I will gift this out to someone. And they had quite a few of these, so I wish it would show on the back like what you're actually getting, but then they'd probably be a little bit harder to sell, so I got that. I think I already showed you guys this wrapping paper. If I already showed this to you, because like I said, I tried filming this once before and I spilled the coffee, I apologize. I got this Hallmark wrapping paper. It's 45 square feet. It's reversible. Really nice quality wrapping paper for a dollar. I wish I would have picked up two of those. I should have picked up two of those. I got this little, it's called a fuzz, a fuzz bee. And it's in the Minion. This was $1.99, as you can see. And I got this for Robert just as a little um, Christmas present. Nothing big or too exciting, but just something for him to put on his bed. It's like a little, feels like a bouncy ball in there. So they had the Minion to have the two eyeballs and then the one with one eyeball in the middle. So I got that for him. I picked up this adorable Olaf backpack, you guys. And this at, you know, like... Target or even the Disney store in the mall would probably be at least $19.99 you guys and I got this for $2.99 That's an awesome deal. So tell me that's not so adorable So I actually got this for I think I'm gonna gift this to my niece Haley You turn it around and it's got the little backpack straps and I don't know what the point of the zipper is you guys because if you look there's like no room in there so I don't I don't know, if you stored something in there, it would have to be something really little. It's got the little Disney, so it's the actual Disney brand. So I was pretty excited about this. If you go into your 99 cent only and you're looking for the Olaf backpack, they had these at each one of the registers. They had one at each register. So they didn't have them at, in an aisle at mine. So if you can't find them, check up near your registers. Got that. I don't want to get that near... Then Robert picked out this pack of WWE stickers. This comes with 200 plus WWE stickers. And each page just has the different um, characters. John Cena, it's got The Rock in there. Sheamus, just all the different ones. So he got that. I picked up these adorable stockings, you guys. And... They had so many different Christmas stockings, and I limited myself to two because I already have so many stockings that, you know, I have to choose in between each year. So this one has the cute plaid, and then it's got the hunter green with the black reindeer. So I got the green one, and then I got the red one with the red plaid so i just think those are really super adorable and i could not pass on them it's in the happy holidays brand and they also had really cute girly ones that were like pink sequins purple sequins they had ones with red green and white sequins but like i said i had to limit myself and get the ones that i knew i wanted the most I got this little beauty set, and this is in the Cherry Tree brand. It was uh, $1.99, and it's in the color Deep. I thought this was a lipstick and, like, a lotion, you guys. I didn't even pay attention. See, that's... I didn't read the shoe organizer. I didn't read this. I need to read things a little bit more carefully when I'm shopping. So, when I got home, I noticed that it is an actual BB concealer and a BB beauty cream, and it's in the color Deep. So obviously that's way too dark for me. So I figured I would probably gift this out or save it for the next giveaway that I do. Either that or I could use that as a cream contour and use that as a cream contour. But I think I'm just going to save it and gift it out because I already have um, cream contours. I have plenty of them. So I got that. I got this adorable Christmas ornament. This is my favorite Christmas ornament that I got on this trip. Tell me this is not so cute for a dollar, you guys. It's this, like, vintage-looking scene where they're ice skating. It's got that chunky kind of, like, not really glitter, but, you know, whatever that is. And 
then it's got this pretty gold around the edge. It's got the um, plastic cover. And then look, the back is in this really pretty gold glitter. It's got the pretty um, gold bow with the holly berries. So tell me if you were going to like a, you know how they have the parties and you do Christmas ornaments. This would not be a cute ornament for a ornament gift exchange. Just super cute. I got this pack of the Arm & Hammer um, air fresheners. It says neutralizes odors and freshens air. This was $1.99, which is a great deal for two of these. It's in the vanilla bean, and it has the scratch and sniff. I tried to scratch it and smell it, but I couldn't smell it, but I know I love anything vanilla. So it says it fits into an airwick or a glade, which is great because I don't have any Arm & Hammer ones, so I got those. I got this really cute Christmas tin, and it's got the little owly on it. It says, tis the season, and it's got the little branch with the ornaments. And then, look, the lid's the exact same. They had these in multiple sizes with lots of different little designs on them. I got this... This is stuck to it, sorry. This adorable over-the-door wreath hanger, and they had these in red, white, and green. The white one had a snowflake, the green one, I believe, had a Christmas tree, and the red one was Santa. I let Robert pick, and he liked the white one. I had just showed you guys the reindeer one that I got from Walmart. It was $2.48, and it had the antlers coming off, and that was, like I said, $2.48. So for a buck, I thought this was a good deal, and it's super cute. Robert picked out this adorable little set of gloves, and it looks like little footballs. He got this for his um, baby cousin, Baby J, and they're a little bit big, but he can grow into them. So this is the same brand as my beanie that says Bay. It's in the Studio brand, but this is the Studio Kids. Let me pull this bag up here so I don't have to keep... Then I got this really cute little reindeer, and I did test him on the shelf, and he does actually stand on his own. It's got the rhinestones, and look at the antlers. They had these in three different um, colors of glitter. They had the white gold, the yellowy gold, and the silver. I chose the white gold, and to match it, I got the Christmas tree, but this one I'm actually going to use as an ornament on the tree. So it's the exact same thing, but it's got rhinestones. This might stand. I'm not sure. I didn't test this one, but this one doesn't have a little string to hang it, and this one does. You could easily add one to this if you wanted to use it as an ornament, but like I said, I'm just going to stand that one up somewhere. I got this little ornament. And you could use this as a little sign on the wall if you wanted to. And this is actual metal, you guys. It's like a heavy-duty metal, which I think is nice that it's not plastic. And it says, let it snow. It's got the adorable snowman and the snowflakes. They had one more of these. I don't remember what it said, but I liked this one better. And it's got the pretty sheer red um, like ribbon to hang it. So make sure, though, when you're getting ornaments and little stuff like this, that you look at it before you get it because some of them will have, like, scratches or some of the paint missing. You want to pick out the best one you can find in the stuff like this because stuff does get ruined pretty easy at 99 cent only in Dollar Tree. This was my second favorite ornament that I picked out, and this one is plastic. I just thought this was cute. It reminded me of one they have at Walmart. It says, Star of Wonder, Star of Night, and it's got the kind of clear glitter on it. That was a dollar as well. All the ornaments I got were a dollar. Oops. Need that. I, of course, picked up one of my packs of the Carefree Panty Liners. In the original, you get 20 of them in the fresh scent. Nothing new, nothing exciting. I got these adorable glass tumblers, and in the picture, they probably look plastic, but they're actual glass, you guys, or ceramic. I don't know if they're glass, but... So they're pretty nice quality, and once again, some of them had like a lot of the paint scratched off. 
if I were you and you purchased these, I would hand wash them because it seems like it could come off really easily. So I'm going to keep the one that says this girl runs on grace because it is black, gold, and white. And then this one I will be gifting to someone. It says she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. And I love the metallic gold on both of those. They had, I think it was two other ones as well. I took pictures and posted them on my Instagram if you're interested to see what the other ones look like and what they say. I picked up this Crest Pro Health toothpaste, and this is actual adult toothpaste. It says it has the Disney Magic Timer. I don't know what that is, but it's Minty Breeze. It says Strengthens Enamel Fights Cavities, 4.2 ounces. And what I like about these is it has the actual frozen on the tube of toothpaste, and it's not just children's toothpaste. At least I don't think it is because it doesn't say anything about children's toothpaste on it. They also had, I think, like Minions and a couple other um, Disney characters. I got the face wash and face masks. Everyone's been showing um, this purple one right here. It's the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Blackberry Gel Facial Cleanser. This is for all skin types and it removes debris and makeup. 6.0 ounces. So I've seen this a lot on people's Instagram. These were only a dollar, which is a great deal. Because if you look up the retail price online, I think these go for like $5.99 or $6.99, somewhere around there. This one is the Pineapple Enzyme Mask. And this is for normal to combo skin. And it exfoliates um, and gives you smooth skin. They're all 6.0 ounces. And then the third and last one that I got was this one. And also Freeman brand. It's the Apricot Apricot Creamy Scrub for all skin types. Gently resurfaces skin. So I thought these were a great deal. I'm going to keep one. And then the other two I will gift out for Christmas. Let me get the bag of makeup and stuff. So I found these makeup brushes. Which I thought were an awesome deal you guys Jeez, let me push this stuff back. I have, like, no room. So I found these makeup brushes, and these are in the Essential Tools brand, and they sell these at Walmart. These retail for $8.99. I was just there yesterday. I couldn't find the actual deluxe powder brush because I was kind of in a hurry, but I did find the bronzer brush, and it's a little bit smaller than this, and the bronzer brush was $8.99, and it's the exact same brand. So to find these for a dollar is a great deal. I'm going to keep one, and then I will gift one out for Christmas time. Obviously not by itself, but then I found the Fergie falsy lashes or false lashes and they had quite a few different Fergie items they had the four packs of Fergie nail polishes for only a dollar but I just wasn't loving the colors the colors were kind of putrid looking to me I know that sounds kind of like I don't know I just didn't like them so I got the Fergie bang bang and then I got the Fergie tees that's the names of the style of lashes so I will either keep those for myself or gift them I'm not sure I don't wear falsies all that much. I got this eyeshadow palette for a dollar. I thought this was really cute. This is in the Color Mates brand, and it's got the cute pink with the flowers. And look at all of these pretty colors, you guys. So there's a lot of different um, color combinations you can do. And yes, Color Mates is like, you know, a more cheap off brand, but if you use an eyeshadow primer, even like the cheapest of eyeshadow can come out decent or even nice. I like to use the NYX. It's in a little pot. I get it at Ulta. I think it's like $7.99. It's the concealer, and I use that um, instead of like a regular eyeshadow primer because it's sticky, and then the eyeshadow really just um, stays on all day and the color payoff is just awesome when you use like a more sticky concealer as your eyeshadow primer. I got this eyeshadow palette and I thought this one was cute because it's got the kind of, reminds me of Burberry like plaid and it's by Color Mates as well and when you open it, it's got this pretty set of eyeshadows which I really like and then it's got the blush and to me, that looks just like a powder. It doesn't look like a highlighter or anything. And it comes with a little cheapy blush brush and eyeshadow stick, which 
I won't use, so I don't know. I might get this. I might not. Not sure. So I got that for a dollar. I got this. This is in the NYC brand, and I thought this was a great deal, you guys. I got this for a buck. It says eleven ninety seven value. I used to wear these in junior high and high school. They are the little twisty lip glosses, and it's got the little like brush it's soft and I love these colors these are colors that I will definitely put to use so it says NYC kiss and shine liquid lipstick so for a buck I was not about to pass that up I wanted to get one more but I couldn't find any more of those I got this Maybelline master glaze and I can't remember if I already got these from 99 cent only I get I, oh my gosh good I did get some twist up um, makeup sticks like this. I think they were in Maybelline, but I think they were the Maybelline Fit, like the black ones. So this is a blush stick, and it's a really pretty color. I can't wait to use this. It's in the Warm Nude 40. So I got that for a dollar. All of the makeup at my 99 cent only is a dollar. Back in the day when they first started getting, like, you know, the drugstore makeup there, they would have some of it a dollar ninety nine, some of it a dollar. But now because they get so much of it, it's just a dollar. And when you go on Wednesday mornings, unless they've changed it, they have all of the makeup out in the front by the registers, and they put it out right when the store opens. But when you go on a day when it's not first being put out, it's usually in the actual makeup aisle, and it's on the bottom shelf in tubs. I took a picture and posted it on Instagram so you guys could see, and you just have to dig through the tubs. So I also picked up two more of the baby lips. This one is my favorite baby lips out of all the baby lips that they sell. And the one that I have is basically down to like the bottom. There's almost nothing left. So I picked this one up for myself. This is the 05 Quenched. This has like a minty taste to it kind of. And this is the Baby Lips Moisturizing Lip Balm with Sunscreen SPF 20. And then it says Clinical Strength. And then this one is the Baby Lips Crystal. And it's in the 135 Cleansing Coral. And I love the packaging, how it's got that, you know, glittery crystal look. And it says 8-Hour Moisture Hydration. And it's got shea butter, shea butter, vitamin E, and a hint of shimmer. So I got both of those. I will probably keep one and then gift one. I have a lot of baby lips that are still unopened, so I didn't want to go crazy on the baby lips this time. I got this for a dollar, and I thought this was a great deal. This is the Sally Hansen 18 Karat Gold Nail Strengthener and Hardener, and it says it's got real 18 karat gold shield, locks in moisture, and strengthens nails. It's 0 0.33 ounces for a dollar. That's an awesome deal. I guarantee you this probably retails for... 7 to 8.99 just knowing Sally Hansen. Every time I look at stuff like that at Target, it's a little bit more on the pricey side. Then I picked up this four pack of the Bonita nail polish and they had a couple different packs with different color combinations and this one I thought was the prettiest. So I will either gift this with all of them together or I will break them up because I like to do little cosmetic bags and put, you know, like maybe get four of them and put one of each of these in there, one um, lip gloss in each of them or a chapstick, maybe one roll-on perfume, just stuff like that. So I love that gold color, that metallic purple color, the magenta purpley pink, and then I love my favorite is this deep um, purple with the shimmer and I think that is gorgeous. So for a buck... You cannot beat that. I got this, which I'm keeping because I'm really excited to try this. This is the L'Oreal Paris, and this is the Touch On Color for Eyes and Cheeks. Limited edition Touch On Color for Eyes and Cheeks, and it's in the Golden Amplifier. So you could actually use this as a highlighter. There's a girl that I watch on YouTube. I haven't watched her in a while, but she would use a um, gold color like as a highlighter and believe it or not it would come out really pretty it wasn't like super noticeable that it was gold but it just made a really pretty highlight so I can't tell if this is liquid or I mean cream or powder but either way I'm excited to use it especially for a buck so I got that 
I picked up two more of the nail polishes in the pure ice and I thought both of these colors were really pretty. There is this really deep, pretty purple, almost royal blue and the names are covered up by the stickers so I can't read them to you. And then there's this one which I really love and it's in this kind of gray color but if you look it's got a hint of purple shimmer in it. So I definitely could not pass on these for a dollar. I think I'm going to do my toes in this color right here so I got both of those and is that everything let me make sure that that was everything you guys because yesterday I did the video and then there was a bag of forgotten items and I hate when that happens so I think I showed you guys everything I really hope I did if you guys enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up and you guys can subscribe to my channel to be notified when one of my newest videos is uploaded. I've got my cute little Christmas teddy out and then my Target dollar spot furry pillows, the gray ones in back of it. So like I said, you can subscribe and it will notify you when one of my newest videos is uploaded. It also helps me out. I also have my Instagram, which is Breakup to Makeup One, and I upload pictures of stuff that I did buy and then stuff that excuse me, I didn't buy. Even if it's stuff that I haven't tried or I know I don't like, I just want to show you guys, excuse me, what's out there because everyone has, you know, a difference in opinion and what they do and don't like. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.